So Bally, welcome back to Hobart. Thank you. Um, how does it feel to be back here? Because you came here last year, didn't you? And what was your experience like then? Yeah, last year was my first year playing here. Um, and I heard, I heard a lot of great things from players. So um, last year we thought, right, we're definitely going to come down and, you know, and check out the place and see what it's like. And, you know, we absolutely loved it here last year. Um, I ended up qualifying. Um, I remember I was playing um, first round, I played Dockage, uh, which was a good experience. Um, and um, yeah, we, we absolutely loved everything about this tournament, the conditions, you know, the way that um, the balls are kind of flying on the court here. It was just perfect. Everything was just perfect, very well organised. And, you know, it always helps when kind of the hotel is about five, ten minutes away from the club. Um, and the people here are just so lovely and, and really warm. So it was a definite to come back here this year. Um, a lot of people say that, that conditions here in Tasmania are quite similar to the UK, you know, maybe a bit cooler than some of the other Australian cities, perhaps a bit windier. Do you think that gives you in some way a little bit of an advantage? Yeah, of course it does, because coming from, from Britain, um, our conditions in the winter aren't particularly, you know, very warm, it's very cold back home. And, um, you know, that was one of the reasons why we picked Hobart as well, was that the conditions weren't as brutal, so it wasn't so much of a shock to the body. Um, and it gives us a week to prepare before we head over to Melbourne. And um, this time of year is, is a time of year where you in particular have had really good results. You know, you've played well at the Australian Open in the past. As you said, you qualified here last year. What is it about this time of year? Is it the surface? Is it the environment? Can you sort of put your finger on it? Um, do you know, I've always felt very comfortable um, in Australia. Um, I mean, even going back quite a few years back when I actually qualified and made the third round. Um, I just, I don't know, I just, every time I'm here, I just feel very welcome and I just love everything about it. Um, you know, the conditions, just, it's just such a special tournament, even the tournaments leading up to Australian Open. Um, and I think when you feel comfortable, um, you kind of play better tennis. Um, and, and I think really that's the reason why. And just finally, tell us a bit about what kind of things you were doing during the off season. I guess you had a bit of snow back home in the UK that you had to kind of dodge. So just talk us through yeah. some of the things you've been working on and, and how you got around the, the weather conditions that you had back in the UK. Yeah, we, we worked very, very hard for, for eight weeks. Um, I decided to finish um, kind of in the middle of October um, and to really give a pre-season, like, you know, my, my best and um, to really work hard because I, I really needed to. I mean, obviously I had an amazing year, but there were still areas there that I really needed to improve to get back into that top 50 and, and kind of keep building from there. Um, and um, I had an, a, a really fantastic eight weeks. We worked a lot on my serve. That was one of the big areas. Um, you know, placement on the serve, trying to up the percentages on the first serve so I'm not giving my opponent too many second serves, um, which I was actually doing um, last year. Um, and that has come on like loads and loads and you know, I'm hopefully, hopefully the serve is gonna, I mean in practice it's gonna unbelievable so hopefully it will, you know, it will be really good in matches as well. Um, and obviously other areas as well, just to kind of uh, clean up on some of the mistakes as well. But uh, no, I mean, it was a fantastic eight weeks. Um, I worked very, very hard with my coach, Nina Severino. Um, unfortunately, by the end of the eighth week, um, we both came down with some flu. Um, but you knew it was going to happen because obviously it was so cold and it was kind of going around every, you know, everyone. And um, but overall, it was a really great pre-season, and um, you know, and hopefully, I can take that into my matches now going into the new year. Perfect.